All right, so this is the furnace project where we're going to melt some aluminium cans uh, inside uh, this little mini foundry furnace. Uh, we got some charcoals that we're going to heat it up with. This is the lid to uh, cover it up while it's going. Uh, we got a hair fan to blow air into the furnace with a metal, uh, through a metal pipe, which we made a hole for in the side. Um, we got some protection, obviously, uh, some goggles, and we got some uh, heat-resistant gloves. Uh, yeah. All right, so we got a nice fire going here. We're uh, firing up our charcoals, and we wanted briquettes, but uh, we didn't have, so we're going to try to do this with regular charcoals. Um, yeah, we're waiting for that to heat up. Uh, in the meanwhile, we have connected the, the hair fan to a metal uh, iron shaft that is going into the mini furnace and uh, yeah soon we're ready to to throw the throw it in so we're gonna put some uh, charcoals into the furnace I didn't get them to light up so good but I think we can make it work now turning on the honestly see how it works yeah, seems to be working great. Seems to be working really nice. It's going to eat the charcoal really fast. Yeah, we're going to probably have to add some charcoal. Turn, turn, turn it off. The monumental mistake of covering the pipe and actually creating a, well, creating a heat coming back up and basically just torched our fan. Just ignite it. And it's dead. It is dead. Well, yeah. It's still glowing actually. So you have to have it on. You have to have it on. That's one thing. And I think the heat of it also is not good. We have to have a cold one. And I think also the fact that. Yeah, I think you have to have it on. You have to have it on. Then it's always pushing air inside. It has to be strong enough yeah. so it can push the head, uh, heat away. Yeah. So actually, the mistake we think was turning it off. Yeah. because it was noisy yeah. and too hot so we should have really fast put in the this one just put this here yes okay we have we got some we got some briquette charcoals which should be better for this and uh, we got a new fan after the disaster of the heat going up the pipe and melting our our first hair fan so we got a new fan which we're going to show in a second so we're using a a handheld hand mattress blower. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, working a lot better now. We got some glow down, going down there, so I think we should be good in a few minutes. At the moment, it looks hotter and hotter. We feel like we're actually getting there soon. This is uh, the setup of Victron system that the uh, fan is connected to. This is the battery, which uh, feels fine should be okay for this kind of a job it's a bit heavy duty but it's only two ampere so it shouldn't be any problem uh, Victor and energy blue solar smart charger uh, it's connected to 400 watts of uh, solar panels uh, four times 100 watts and here we have a pure scene invent uh, inverter which Phoenix uh, 12 volts and 800 watts which uh, is not using this project no, it's not going to be used in this project. We're going to connect it straight to the 12 volts uh, generated by the solar panels. Um, and here we have a little battery with 95 ampere hours. Uh, we're probably going to connect it straight to that and see how it works. Okay, so we went with the, after the battery died, we went with a new setup where we connected the fan with a quite a heavy duty cable directly to our 12 volt solar system seem to be working fine taking about 2 ampere on the 12 volt we are not so worried about that but she should be okay as you can see it's actually quite flaming inside we are going soon to melt a bunch of pans we are also now checking all the time the temperature just where the air come out to make sure we don't get the same disaster twice 
So we have one guy blowing the air and the other guy feeding the fire. Looks really nice. Really uh, you can only measure up to 500 degrees, but uh, this is what we have. Ah, it's just showing high. It's yeah, now, now it's too much. Try the oven. <laughs> All right, we got a good fire going on and it looks pretty red in there. So we're gonna get ready to put a, put a can to see if we can melt some aluminium. What kind of a can do you put first? Oh, a tubok. Classic Danish one. Classic Danish Let's see one. how it melts. Does look like it's melting. It's definitely melting. Oh, I'm losing power. Why? <laughs> it's exactly. It's just the perfect timing. We just melted one. And we yeah. lost power. Did All right. This is a beer can melted. We got it. Now we, we will it. need to uh, regroup uh, and think about our. Yeah, how we continue this project. Exactly. But it's working. It's working. Nice. Good job. Good job indeed. We are going to try another can with a new setup. Another, no, this is a Heineken one. Heineken this time. So we're going to be just as fast. Oop! Oh, yeah, jumps well. out. It's actually, it's actually. Actually, the air is pushing it out. <laughs> the air is pushing the can out. Yeah. This is uh, quite interesting. And you can see all the colors burning. Maybe we should turn off the heat, uh, the fan, and just put some cans. Okay, let's, let's try that. Yeah. It's going there. Now, now we are melting uh, cans without the heat, without the heat on, uh, without the fan on. Sorry, uh, which make it a bit easier. Ooh, a black culture. That's a really good beer, actually. And just it just melts away like it's nothing. It's, uh, and of course, we all of us are wearing gloves and goggles to be sure. And uh, long clothes and long pants and good shoes. Well, good shoes is debatable. Well, at least it covers <laughs> all the part of our body, so we are ready to if something yeah, yeah. happens. Yeah. This black aluminium, it's interesting, it's probably just gonna melt all the. I don't think it's any, any color, the black. Yeah. Only coated black. Maybe, I don't know. Might be interesting. Maybe we should have melted the black aluminium alone. Never mind. Next batch yeah. of beer. Okay, should we put it on again? Yeah. Okay, we got to the point when it's really nicely melted. We have removed a lot of sludge. Actually lost some of the aluminium in the sludge. Maybe we need to be get better at this one. Now we're moving the top and we are going to spill it into a small um, groove we made in the ground. Let's see, it's actually not so easy. Yes, really not. Ooh, it's red and hot. Should I pull? Yes. yes it's Really nice. Let's pull it. A huge chunk of aluminium. It's look exactly like uh, it's boiling. Qu quicksilver. Boiling. But this is uh, a thousand degrees. Yeah. I don't know if it's actually more than a thousand degrees. It's quite hot. 